so hello everybody, Research Reviews here, and um, today we are continuing my Pixar ranking series. Uh, in it, and we're in at number 14. Now, from the title you can see that my number 14 is Wally. -E. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be surprised about that because everyone, you know, thinks this is like the best Pixar movie. No, none, none is better. I don't agree with that in the slides. I don't... This film hasn't always... has never resonated with me like it has other people. And um, I don't know why exactly that is, but, you know, it, it it is what it is. And, of course, if we disagree, that that that's not bad, you know, that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it just doesn't matter, you know. If, if anything, it's better if we disagree, because we can have a debate in the comments about it. But, let's get into it. So, Wally, it was directed by Andrew Stanton. Um, he, he is one of the, the big ones at Pixar. He does, he's in the Finding Nemo and the Finding Dory film. And he's he's a good director. Um, uh, the compo it was composed and music by Thomas Newman, and I think it had it had good music in it. Um, and then cast we've got Ben Burt as Wally, um, Alyssa Knight as Eve, and um, Jeff Garlin as the captain of the Axiom. So it is somewhat of a clever premise, you know. It's basically saying like it's set like about I think it's seven hundred years into the future, and it's saying that like. America basically got too well. The whole world got too polluted, and it was inhabitable for humans. So they were all shot off into space into this ship called the Axiom, where they all, you know, got too fat to move, and they just like sit on these chairs and they get taken everywhere, and um, and they drink everything out of a cup. Um. So yeah, and then basically on Earth, you know, they sent back these wally bots to clean it up and you know they've all died off and there's only one remaining wally and that is the main character of our story he falls in love with a robot that gets sent down from the axiom and he accidentally gets himself tied up into the space the whole thing that's happening with that and you know what i liked it i did as much as i say i like all pixar movies especially these ones from now on you know, these ones are like the ones that I consider really, really, really solid films. <clears throat> but there is still a ranking. And, like, it was a lot harder, you know. Like, you'll see when I get up to my, like... I'd say at least my top five, you know, those just switch around, you know, like, depending on how I feel. But, you know, we're talking about Wally, so let's get into the positives. So the positives of this movie was it was a very bold message, you know. A lot of things you see in, like, the news recently and, you know, nowadays is... Obesity is becoming a big problem. And the thing is, this message just tackles that and it doesn't sugarcoat it or anything, no pun intended. It doesn't sugarcoat it. It literally just punches you in the face with it. You know, it's saying, if we carry on the way we do in 700 years, we're going to end up like that. And I think that was really bold. It worked, I think. Um, and yeah, it just, it worked. Um, also, it was a very clever premise. Um... Kind of a cool reimagining of like, well, just like, what would happen, you know, if if this, if we did all get shot into space? And, you know, there's been some theories, like, going around, like, why does Wally survive after all the other Wallys die off? And, you know, a big source apparently is fascination with humans, you know, but it's never really confirmed. Um, and so, yeah, it was a clever premise. And also, it, it is one of Pixar's most visually stunning films. It is just beautiful. There's just one scene in space where Eve and Wally are flying around, and oh my god, it is amazing. So nice. But, you know, there are negatives for this film for me, and that is one that probably everyone's going to disagree with. When, you know when everyone says about Wally, you know, the, the first 30 minutes is like a silent movie, it's amazing? I disagree. I get so bored in this opening 30 minutes. Because, I don't know, I I don't have the same enjoyment out of watching this robot go through his day-to-day -day life like other people do. And so this start just really bored me, um, honestly. I didn't, I didn't care for it. Um, there was also these two human... So, like, it was mainly centred around Wally and Eve as, like, the robot characters, but there were three human characters, which was the captain, who I really liked. I liked the captain. You know, he was almost kind of a second protagonist. You know, he wanted to go back to Earth. Um, but there was these two other ones. There was... One was called Mary and one was called um, John. 
played by, you know, Pixar's hidden gem, um, John Ratzenberger, who has voiced someone in every Pixar movie. And they try. I felt like they tried to make these characters matter so much more than they did. And that was my big problem with them. Is like, because at the end, like, they kind of tried to save these babies, but like, if these babies weren't to be saved, they wouldn't get hurt. They'd just like fall into like an ungodly mass of humans. So like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have actually affected them. Um, and they kind of had this little romance that was going on, which I didn't understand at all. I don't know where that came from. Um, so yeah, they were a bit like, I think they're a bit shoehorned in, you know, just to get some actual dialogue out of us. Um, and then, and then finally, I, I, there was some live action in this movie. There was Hello Dolly from the movie Hello Dolly, which I have not seen. And then there was also this, uh, this, this like businessman. I, f I forget his name, but he was talking and he was live action on a video. And that was weird because I don't know why they did live action. I think it, I mean, I, I don't know, like I wasn't a fan of the live action. It didn't work for me. Um, but I mean, it didn't really impede the story too much, I suppose. I mean, there is a big plot hole in it, in my opinion. Like, because the thing is, Eve is sent down to Earth to find a plant. She finds a plant, and then when she goes back up to the Axiom, the autopilot of the ship wants to get rid of the plant. So why does the autopilot keep sending down the Eve probes if he doesn't want the plant? So that's kind of a plot hole to me. Um... Which I never enjoy. And then I suppose you could have the plot hole of why does this one Wally survive? It's never completely, like, confirmed that it is his fascination with humans. So, you know, why is it? Um, but anyway, I mean, yeah, this movie definitely is enjoyable. You know, you can get a lot of enjoyment out of it, definitely. Um, and I do enjoy it, I do, um, if it's on. I will watch it. I won't ever really like go out of my way to watch it though. Not like some of the other films on top of this on this list. But anyway, um tell me what you thought about Wally in the comment section down below. Uh did you enjoy it? Um you probably did. I mean I did. It's just very low on this countdown because it did. And that's the thing though, like this Pixar ranking, it's one of the hardest things you can do because like the thing is like D Disney, I'm rank I'm doing the Disney Canon series at the moment and they have done like 56 movies. So, not all 56 are amazing. But with Pixar, you know, out of all the 18, I'd say about 15 of them are almost masterpieces. At least, like, 12 of them are masterpieces, and then the other three are, like, almost masterpieces. So it's really hard to rank them. But, you know, I'm not going to get into that now. I've already said it multiple times. Um, so, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with my channel. And um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.